the sales page. Okay, now it's time to really start building your funnel, like the actual technical pieces of it, the content that you've been creating so far, you're going to put it all together to create that initial landing page for your dream customers, the sales page for your flagship framework. For many aspiring entrepreneurs, the dream of your own business, lifestyle freedom, financial independence, and doing work you love begins and ends with making a sale. It's the part of the process that too many people are unable to complete, and with that, give up on their plans much, much, much too soon. With an online business, your sale is made on your landing page. That's the first page your dream customers see when they click your link. This is where you make your first impression. So think about it, how many times have you clicked on someone's landing page and been instantly turned off or super disappointed or, or even thrilled to have found exactly what you're looking for at last? So to make the page work, you need the right mix of emotion and logic and fear to get your dream customers to act right now. This day is about learning how to do just that. Create the sales copy that will turn that curious online surfer into your dream customer. Now, although you're going to learn the strategy and tactics for great sales pages, understand that this process rarely works on the first effort. You have to keep adapting the message until people start responding. And when they do, you'll know that you have delivered. So what are the elements of a great sales page? Emotion, logic, and fear. Now, you might think that's a little heavy for my little product, but it's really always there. If you look at the, the better advertisements you've ever seen, the better sales pages you've seen, they have it all there because that's the journey that you take a customer through to get them to the point where they want to buy from you. So you want to be thinking about that as you build out your sales page and you create that page one of your sales funnel, which is so absolutely critical to actually getting the total you know, momentum that you need to get your dream customers engaged with you and purchasing your flagship framework. So that's your work for today, creating the first page of your funnel, that sales page. This is where you're going to put your who, what, why, how video that you created on day eight. This is the page that's going to take you some time to create. You've got to think about it. You've got to put together the, you know, the images that you want, the, the sales copy that you want, the message that you want. You got to work on your headline, but this is okay that it's going to take time. That it might not just be the one day that you're working on it because this is your image to the online world. This is the first place people are going to land. So don't worry that it's, you know, again, if you're falling a little behind and no, oh, no, you can't keep up, don't worry about that. Just make sure you feel really good about what this page looks like. And again, check out the additional videos on writing your sales copy so you have good copy on that page. Actually, you want great copy on that page. Now, at this point, if you're going to go ahead, you want to be using ClickFunnels to set up your sales funnel. Um, the, you know, OFA is built around ClickFunnels, the software to create your sales funnel so you can have a 14-day free trial and get a sense of how it works and see if you like it and all that kind of stuff. It's the only software I know of that lets you manage all of the pages in your funnel in one place. So technically, yes, you could, you know, create a bunch of pages in different places, and link them all together. But if you're using ClickFunnels, you've got them all here. And, you know, the links are then all, you know, together and, and the, the personal data of your customers runs through from page to page and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not here to sell you on ClickFunnels, but I know that if you're in OFA, you're obviously seeing the ClickFunnels pages and everything is built around ClickFunnels. So you're going to want to take a look at it at least and decide, you know, how you're going to use it. And as you're going through this process, you want to be setting up your pages anyway, because you want to have a sense of how that works and getting your content together and what it looks like and all of that. So that's my word on that. Go ahead and get your ClickFunnels account. So your result today is your sales page, funnel page one. Oh, it's exciting. So go out, you're going to get that done. And again, if you're falling behind, don't worry about it. Get your sales copy together. Take the time to make sure you feel good about it. As we go through now, you are, you know, you did your who, what, why, how script with the, your actual um, video or your long form sales letter, however you did that. So now you're going to put that onto your page one of your sales funnel, along with all the other content and information that you wanted to put in there. Now your cost, your ClickFunnels account is free for the first 14 days. So there shouldn't be any extra costs here. You go in and you start setting up your sales page. Some people might be a little concerned about, you know, not feeling that they can do it themselves, but 
the software is quite straightforward to use. Obviously, there's some things, a uh, bit of a learning curve, but once you know some of those things that are, the, the you know, the tricks like elements versus uh, rows versus sections, once you've learned that, then you can just be clicking away and making, you know, all the funnels you want. So go ahead and, and you can sign up for your account and you'll have it, but you shouldn't have any extra costs today. All right, so sales page time, go on back. Now, I all along I've been telling you, I'm, I'm also creating the same thing. So I'm gonna go off and create my sales pages too for the two funnels that I've been showing you through this process. And again, reach out if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any ideas, let me know on social or just send an email and I'll see you in the next day.